border on the wall. India's threat matrix now includes the possibility of a two-front situation with a series of ceasefire violations by the Pakistan army and that targeted civilians and heavy artillery fire by the Indian army. The LOC is once again on the boil. So recently, um, Pakistan has breached some, has breached some rules, um, which are of a truce. Means India and Pakistan before some uh, months, uh, before a certain amount of time, b- both of them have have agreed to a truce, which means that um, both of them have said to each other that um, we won't be doing any further uh, any further fights between us for the safety of our people. But Pakistan breached that rule and it um, and it had violated a rule. It's um it it fired at the Indian civilians in the Jammu and Kashmir. Uh, and because of that, even the Indians fight back with heavy artillery. So because of this, the LOC or the line of control is once again on on fire. Means uh, many fights have been going on there right now. Six civilians, four Indian Army personnel, and a BSF Jawan were killed in the firing from Pakistan across three sectors. An official Pakistani media said one Pakistan soldier and five civilians were killed by the Indian cross-border shelling. So, what actually happened is that um, at the LOC, the, the the many people from the Indian Army and some civilians from the Jammu and Kashmir were injured. But in Pakistani media or in the or in the news channels or in the newspapers of Pakistan, they have said that um, India 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 has fired uh, India has India has fired on uh, it has fired on six civil it has fired on six civil um, it has it has and but in, uh, in Pakistan they said that. Um, uh, India India has fired down one Pakistan soldier and five civilians, but they actually killed five um, six civilians of us. Killed by the Indian cross border shelling, the government accused Pakistan of firing as a way of providing cover for terrorists infiltrating into India before the winter snow closes the passes and underground roads. Um, and uh, on the and the underground routes and is issued a demarche to Pakistan stop diplomat in New Delhi um, on Saturday declaring the coordinated firing along the length of LOC using heavy ca- caliber weapons including the artillery and mortar on Indian civilians so one main reason why Pakistan may have attempted the see the, the ceasefire which they have at, at, attempted recently is because of the reason that um, um, we are approaching the month of December and that means that um, the winter is coming close. And when winter comes close in India, especially in Jammu and Kashmir, in areas like that, um, the the floor will obviously be covered by snow and some underground routes from Pakistan to India which help the terrorists to sneak into India um, may, no, may, not, may not be so much helpful because they might, they might be closed by the snow. So, um, Pakistan, Pakistan people are not ready to take that and and what and what they did is that they have they have prepared themselves to come into india even before the winter starts by creating a diversion in this way so this may be a diversion for the, for the real pakistan terrorists um, to um, for the real deal pakistan terrorists um, so that they could go through the routes without any without any without any disturbance And also another thing is that by observing all this, uh, a demarche means a political step or a political initiative um, is taken uh, is is taken against Pakistan right now. The temperature has been the temperature has been further raised by the political words from the highest level. Prime Minister Narendra Modi's speech as he stood atop a tank during a Deepavali visit to Longewala post warned of a warn warned of a prachand jawab. Fierce reply to Pakistan and criticized China's expansionist mindset, albeit without naming either neighbor. So, our Prime Minister Narendra Modi, um, he had responded to this, but his response increased the fights at the LAC. Uh, his his words, which which is the the political words which he used, um, had had caused even more anger to the Pakistan, and because of that, uh, the the things right now at the LAC are at more fire. So, what Mr. Narendra Modi said is that. Actually, he went to a post um, in Jammu and Kashmir at uh, Longawala post and uh, uh, in that post, he stood above a tank and he said the speech. Um, the, this He named the speech as uh, as the Prachand reply in Hindi, uh, as the Prachand Jawab in Hindi, which means that fierce reply in English. So, 
uh, he mentioned many things about pakistan and china how um, how they are uh, trying how they are trying to spoil our country with uh, several fights but what he did, what he actually did is that he did not mention either of their name either of the names um he just indirectly told some, told something to them hours later pakistan prime minister imran khan tweeted that there should be no doubt of pakistan's ability and national resolve to defend its borders pakistan's assault at the loc was followed by allegations against india on terror so um, pakistan has said that we have only fired because we we need to protect our civilians from the indian soldiers they may have um, they may have crossed the loc and then they may and even and then they might have uh, killed our people so we did not take the risk and we and we started to fight first so that's what the pakistani people say um and, and also pakistan's assault at the loc was followed by allegations against india on terror so now pakistan so now pakistan is also accusing india of cease firing in a new diplomatic tactic its foreign minister shah mahmood qureshi appeared at the press conference along with the pakistan's military spoke uh, along with the pakistan's military spoke person claiming have claiming to have a dossier on indian involvement in terror attacks inside pakistan that he primarily tar- targeted china pakistan economic corridor infrastructure projects india termed the press conference a futile anti india propaganda exercise and said the charges were fabricated so it's so no now all this uh, all these fights have been going on and pakistan and um, pakistan's military spokesperson he said that uh, he claimed that pakistan has a dossier against india so dossier usually means um, some criminal records against a person especially a criminal um so but here we we know that it would mean uh, it 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 would mean that pakistan has so many criminal records against india so that's what they said um that's what the pakistani people said they said that um, against india they have against india they have many ag- against india they ha- against india they have many um, they have many they have many criminal they have many criminal records and they have also said that india is mainly targeting to spoil the relation between pakistan and china which is known as cpec means china pakistan economic corridor in your term no so the press conference which uh, pakistan took place to say all this india named it as if, as if, as um, as futile anti india propaganda exercise in it means that the exercise or the attempt which pakistan made against india saying that it has a dossier is not successful and anti india means it it is against india so the so india named it as the unsuccess unsuccessful 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 program which happened against india it also said that there was no dossier on on india they have framed it pakistani people have created it and framed india the present situation at the loc cannot be normally cannot be normalized and must be taken seriously army officials now say 2020 has been the highest level of firing since the 2003 india pakistan ceasefire agreement with a record of number of 4052 ceasefire violations by pakistan since january so um the record say that since 2000 uh, since since 2003 there have been 4000 and five and 452 ceasefire violations against india uh, against pakistan which were done by pakistan which which were done by india so that's what the pakistani people say against india pakistan's intentions are to provoke india ahead of its two year term at the un security council from Jan- january 2021 as well as to rake up trouble before the financial action task force review be- in february by naming the cpec pakistan also appears to want to further strain india china relations that have gone under that have undergone through what foreign secretary harsh singla called their worst crisis since 1962 as a result of the pla aggression at the lac in ladakh and at the standoff so if we if we observe all this and consider all this and uh, and analyze it 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 um, we it it comes out that it comes out to be that um pakistan is actually tr- is actually trying to spoil the relations between uh, between the un be- between un and india china and india and and, uh, and also itself pakistan and india this uh, and it also said that it is also pakistan is also trying to rake up the trouble which india had before rake up means to bring up an past uh, event and discuss about it 
so pakistan is trying to is is trying to bring an uh, old trouble into action again so that uh, they could have a quarrel again by naming the cpsc uh, and also said that and also pakistan is also trying to uh, is it is also trying to break up it is also try, trying to um, to spoil the relations between india and china and already india and china have been uh, they, they have gone through many troubles since the year of 1962 and now we don't need pakistan to to fire up another trouble so pakistan should immediately stop doing this studied with the escalation by pakistan at this time it should be evident that india's threat matrix includes the very real possibility of a two front situation where the army will be will be engaged at the loc and the lsc simultaneously along with their possible spike in the terrorist activity in jammu and kashmir so this situation cannot be normalized and it should be taken very seriously because um when the time comes eventually we may have problems at three situ- at three places at the loc at the lac and also in jammu and kashmir where that where the terrorists could come inside from the tunnels that i said before at the starting of the editorial and they can come in that way and they can cause a trouble so india must be very cautious and it should find a way to to keep the pakistanis uh, to keep the pakistanis soldiers off india thank you